so in a today's session creating a custom entity okay so from for creating a custom entity okay so we have to click on this settings under customizations so uh, open the solution okay so click on a click on a entities and click on a new okay so it will opens the new entity creation form okay so here we can uh, we have to enter the this one entity name okay so this is a display name of the whatever entity whatever the entity you are creating okay just i am giving a custom entity is the name okay so next floral name okay so the custom entity floral name so it will displays the in the navigation bar okay so just i am giving a custom entities so this is a schema name in the database it will be a uh, this is the name of the table okay so here we can see the image if you if you have any image we can just give it here and you can give the color for this one look for this entity in the menu bar okay so this is a feature color feature they given in a crm 2015 roll up okay so here we can see the in the right side you can see the some here so one or shift field so here one or shift field is this something like a so this record which will be a user level this entity is a user level or a this entity is a organization level okay so generally we here we have a two types of entities so uh, the first one it is a transactional entities second one is a master entities master data entities so master data entities okay so we we'll just we can use for the some set of masters we can store the store it so transactional entities okay so directly you can do the some operations on a entity records and all okay so the, those things we will call as a transactional entities so if we, here we can see the user and a team and organization so this is a ownership okay so if we create a entity is a user or a team okay so uh, whenever you creating a entity this entity record you will find some record level ownership okay we can able to achieve the record level ownership okay so there we can see the owner related field so if you create a entity with the organization okay so here this uh, this entity organization entity okay so there is no ownership there is no record level ownership so this is data it can be visible by the all the users in the organization so there is no control under the user level okay so that is the difference between the user or team and organization okay so here you can see the here another one define as a activity okay so here in the ms crm we have a activity entities okay like a email phone and fax okay past so these all are the activity related entities okay so for example if you want to create a custom activity so that entity type if you select this one is a define as a custom activity so it will it will display under the activity menu okay so this all the features it will be disable for the activity type okay so if you if you enable that here we can enable we can enter the some description and whatever the entity we are creating so which area it has to be displayed under the sales section under a service section under a marketing section under a the setting section okay so here if you by selecting this option we can able to uh, we can able to show this custom entity where it has to be displayed okay for example if i select this one okay so this entity it will display only under the sales okay 
so here we can see the another option like a process so this is a business process in a crm 2013 they introduced newly okay so if you want to enable the business process for this entity if you want you can select it or later once we created also later we can change it okay so this is a communication things okay so this all the things notes and activities by default it will selected okay so if you if you uncheck this one okay and you can create it later these components you cannot enable it okay so after creation of this entity you cannot disable So here business process flow, okay. So this is a business process flow. They introduced in a new feature in a MS CRM 2013, okay. So if you want this one business process flow for this entity, you can select this one. Or else later also we can able to we can able to enable, okay. So what are the selected options, okay? So here under the communication and collaboration, whatever the options it is selected okay so if you uncheck and we can say create the record so these features you can later on hello, hello. yeah hello are you able to so this the all the features later on we cannot able to so once we uh, selected and we can create a record so these features you cannot able to modify once the uh, entity is created okay so whatever the options this document management and access teams queues and knowledge based these things the later on we can able to modify this all the things okay so here we can see the data services so all of our, for this entity you want to enable the quick create option we can select this one so for this entity you want to enable the duplicate deduction we can select this one so for this entity you want to track the auditing okay so this one we can enable it so this one change the tracking okay so for this the new features are given a, in a roll up one crm 2015 roll up one okay so here this one outlook on mobile this entity if you want to enable for the phone phone express or enable for the mobile okay so this one you want to enable for the office so these are all things we can give it okay so here we under the help you can see okay if you want to give this help kind of things under the help data okay so here we can give it okay so next under this is the general section and you can see the primary field okay so here the primary field primary key in the database which is a new underscore name is the primary key in the database okay so if you just create the record click on create okay so it will create the record it will create the entity So here we can see that these things, what are the disabled options. So this one, nodes and activities connections. Once we created an entity, we cannot able to. So let's say for example, I want to disable the node, nodes for this entity. So that we cannot. So these options, after creating an entity, we cannot able to modify. This knowledge, so knowledge management, 
on the nodes and activities connections so these are all the things we cannot able to modify okay so remaining all the features later on once we created a uh, entity later on we can able to modify it okay so this is a custom entity creation so once we created the entity so then we need to do the publish so once we uh, we done with the publish publishing customizations so now our custom entity so this is a custom entity name so this entity it will display under the sales section okay so click on a sales so under the sales we can see the custom entity so yeah. so this we can check in advance when our customization is got published or not Entities got published. So you should show here under this sales one, it will show. So we need to refresh this thing. Okay, so then only it will display our custom entity. Sales. We see here custom entity. Okay. So this is the custom entity. It is displaying here. Okay. So from the here we can navigate navigate it. So it is just showing here. So this is a custom entity creation. Okay, so for example, if you want to uh, show the this all the things like a, it's a similar to the normal entity creation a record and updating a record and all. each and everything it's the same. Okay, so for example, if, if it is a user or a team, this ownership it is a user or team. So that is the reason we are able to see the owner field here. So in a record level, we have a ownership. Okay. So that one we can define in a whenever creating an entity. Okay. So if you create an entity with the organization, you will not find this ownership field. So by, uh, this all the records it will be whatever the, this entity records it will be visible by the all the users in the organization. So there is no user level in, in restrictions. Okay. If you create an entity as a organizations 